Hello everyone and welcome back to the Cloudmersive YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use one of our image processing connectors to detect objects, including types and locations, within an image. This connector action will attempt to classify what objects are present within a photo and return the location of those objects with specific pixel coordinates. The response will also include a score between 0 and 1, which represents the degree to which the connector is confident that the object is what it thinks it is. For this demo, I'm going to set up a simple manually triggered flow and I'm going to test it with a picture that shows a laptop sitting on top of a table. Let's dive right in. As usual, I'm clicking create here to get started and I'm selecting instant cloud flow right after that. I'm not going to bother giving this flow a name, so I'm just clicking create and heading straight to the flow diagram page instead. From here, I'm going to use the get file content action to find my file, so I'm typing that in and selecting it from the list of options below. After that, I'm supplying my site address and using the file picker to navigate to my demo file. Once the file name populates here, it's time to move on and set up the Cloudmersive object detection portion of this flow. To get the right Cloudmersive connector action, I'm clicking New Step and first searching for Cloudmersive so I can bring up the list of Cloudmersive connectors. From these connectors, I'm selecting the Cloudmersive image processing connector with the yellow logo. After I do that, I can start searching for Detect Objects, including Types and Locations, and select the right option once it comes up. Please note that if you haven't used this connector before, you'll be asked to name your connection and include your API key at this stage. You can get an API key easily for free by registering a free account on our website. Your free tier API key will have a limit of 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments, which is perfect for smaller scale projects and startups. Once you enter it in here, it will save and you won't have to worry about doing that ever again. Now I can go about satisfying the only two parameters for this action. The first field here requires our input file, which I can supply by selecting the file content option from the dynamic content window. After that, I can simply copy and paste the file name from the previous step and include that in the field that asks for the file name. For the record, if you're turning this into a repeat button, there are other ways to include the dynamic content in this operation. I'm just doing it this way because it's a single case demonstration flow. Now that my parameters are configured, I can save and test the flow. Once I see that the flow is saved, I'm clicking test in the upper right corner of the page and selecting the option to trigger manually. Then I'm confirming my connections and clicking on the final run flow box to set the flow in motion. This operation should only take a few seconds in total, and the way I'm going to make sure it worked is by checking the outputs in the Cloudmersive connector action box after it's done. Now that the flow is finished, I'm looking through the response body and I'm quite happy to report that the connector is spot on with its response. As you can see, it has detected the current object with more than a 96% confidence score, and it has displayed the XY location of the laptop in pixels on the screen. It's equally important to note, however, that two other objects are present in this image, specifically an open notebook and a phone lying flat on the table. Both of these have not been detected because they are not featured enough in the image. This connector works best on large, featured objects which are clearly identifiable as the subject of their respective photos. That concludes this video. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more Cloudmersive Power Automate demonstrations in the near future.